Hello you lovely lot, happy Sunday, I hope you've all had a lovely lovely week. So, today I'm doing something really exciting and it's something that you guys asked for a few weeks ago. Do you remember when I mentioned Isle of Paradise, that tanning liquid that is created by Jules Von Hepp? Well, you all said to me, Lise, please can you teach us how to tan? And I said, I just kind of chuck it on. So today I'm going to the man himself and he is going to show me all of his tanning tips. So really exciting, and better get going. Okay guys, as promised, I'm here with Jules. <laughs> here he is, finally, because we've been doing so much travelling. Oh my God. All over the place, managed to get hold of him. We were in New York last week. LA in two days, and oh then my God. and then I kind of, I wish I could say the Maldives, but no plans. Not yet. the Maldives, no. no. But forget that because when you're in Sephora, can we just say that feels like the Maldives? I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we're here to talk about Alapala Paradise, which is your amazing tanning brand. Because when I put it into my, I think it was my April favourites, so many people went crazy for it, and everyone was saying, "Can you teach us how to tan?" And I said, "No." I can't, but, but I know the I that can. can. <laughs> yes. I can teach you how to do a smoky eye, but I can't teach you how to tan. <laughs> well, because I'm one of those girls that literally just chucks it on, and then I make a massive mess. But the thing that I love about this, which I bought in boots on the way to San Francisco. She's so glam. Well, yeah, bought in boots on the way to San Fran. I was drunk when I applied it, so I thought, I am screwed. Woke up the next morning, and I think I did an Instagram. You did, story. I saw this. It was so even. And I was thinking, how, how, maybe I'm just better at tanning when I'm drunk, I'm better at most things, but actually, <laughs> I think it's just because of the product. So firstly, why tan? Tell everyone a bit about you and tanning. So I have been tanning for over 10 years. Yeah. Um, I am obsessed with tanning. I had to get a job in it because I was like, I can't afford this habit week on week. Um, but. Tanning for me creates the most amazing base on the skin. It gives, it hides fatigue, it gives evenness in the skin tone, it makes your clothes look better, it makes your teeth look whiter, it makes your eyes look brighter. And I find that my makeup actually goes on better when I'm tanned. Yeah, and you feel healthier as well. I always feel like when I fake tan, I feel healthy. And I'm not a regular fake tanner, I'm a summer fake tanner. Is that right? Is that normal? Because do most people tan in the winter? Do you know, so everybody's different. You have occasion tanners, you have week on week tanners, you have people who tan just double for summer, tanners, double tanners. The girls in my office yesterday, who all, by the way, all of the girls in the Benefit head office use Isle of Paradise. That is no joke. They've all That's been out such to a buy. nice feeling. No, it really oh. is. They've all been out to buy it because, and Michelle, who's the head of digital, she said to me, she was like, okay, when I first bought it, and we'll talk more about the formula and that in a minute, she's like, I was a bit scared because you can't see it when you go, when you put it on initially. She said, but because of the results, now she uses it twice a week, every single week, and she always looks so natural. I've gone off track here, I can't remember what you're talking about. <laughs> but, yeah, no, but I am, I'm like that kind of, in between going out in the sun, I wanna top it up. Exactly, but it's, it's that instant fix. It's what you basically get a two week holiday in six hours for a fraction of the cost. <laughs> That's why I love tanning. I love that. But, I mean, whatever the kind of tanner that you are, I like, I am not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So I needed to create a range that anybody could use yeah. because tanning, back in the day, tanning was hard. It was difficult, you had to really pay attention. And now, from me listening to hundreds of men and women who I have tanned week on week, people need idiot proof products and that's what Isle of Paradise is. That's amazing because most people when you think of tanning probably think of Ross and Friends. Do you know that episode? If <laughs> I literally had a dollar a euro a pound every time someone said that, You'd we wouldn't need to be filming this video. <laughs> You'll be rich. Okay, so firstly, why the name Isle of Paradise? I love this question. So Isle of Paradise um, is, so when I was coming up with the brand, I thought about, okay, well, what makes me happy? It bags, the latest bar to be in, being seen, all of that, that doesn't make me happy. Um, sitting with my mum or shopping with my girlfriends or having a glass of rosé, that makes me happy and that's paradise. And so I thought, well, when I do those things, I like to look and feel my best and that's what this brand is. So Isle of Paradise is not a place, it is a mental state of mind. So whatever you want to do to take yourself to paradise, whether you tan or you don't tan, it's just like always be there, always be in that good place. I love place. that. That's, that is 
and in a world that is becoming more and more superficial, I think that that is an amazing, amazing kind of um, ment mentality to have behind a product. So I love that. Thank you. Also, okay, so the first thing that attracted this me to this actually when I saw it in Boots was not necessarily, oh, that's Jules's brand. It was <gasps> the colour of the product and the clear bottle. And just I was like, oh my god, I love it. I love it. Oh, should I pick the colour that I like the most? And I was like, don't be stupid. You don't need the darker one. Go for the medium. <laughs> So that's which is the green, right? The green so, is yeah. the medium. Yeah, so that's the... But I just love how um, the pastel tones. Is that on purpose or is that because of the formula? So, when... Uh, I'll tell you how I came up yes. with the concept because then it'll make you understand the formula a little bit better. So <laughs> when I was working on Strictly Come Dancing, when I was doing X Factor, when I was doing... Hold on. Yeah. Strictly Come Dancing. I was the official tanner for Strictly Come Dancing for like three years. Can we just talk about the sequins? Literally, I've never been able, I, this is the first like non-sequin top I've ever worn since. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was doing that, when I was doing shoots, I was tanning on one day and then I was using colour corrective makeup the next day to create the look that my client wanted. So, if somebody said to me, I want a sun-kissed glow, which is like a weekend away, I would always be using colour corrective makeup in peach to brighten the skin after to give the glow on top of the tan. So then, when I had clients who were coming to me saying, I've had a really long day at work, I'm really stressed, I need that golden tan to last me the week, it was always stress in the skin, inflammation, but also redness. Mm. Then, when you go into dark tanning, if you mix violet against orange and yellow on the colour wheel, it neutralises it. So, do you want your tan to be orange? No. Do you want your tan to be golden and natural looking, but still dark? Yes, so it's your classic colour theory. So this is combining my career in makeup and tan together, and that's why we have the colours. I mean, I would never have guessed that. I just would have thought, oh, I fancy a bit of that purple in that product. <laughs> actually, it all makes complete sense. And I think that that is why I love it. And actually, I, just because I'm looking at the bottle now, is for me, actually, the favourite thing about this whole bottle. Let me just try and find it. Where's the bit that says, like, babe <laughs> or something like oh, that yeah, so it it's all written wording. in my tone of yeah, voice so, so when your tan is drying i say like eat some ice cream when i was looking at it and when i put it on originally i'll tell you how i did it and you tell me if i'm wrong okay i had a mitt i'm going pulling up the sleeve as <laughs> yeah, i love it i'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> do an impression i literally sprayed it on and then rubbed it in with the mitt mm -hmm. and then that was it and then i thought that you had to wash it off but you don't, or do you? So, with the waters, yeah. there is no guide colour. So there's nothing, like, nothing's going to transfer on your sheets. You can wear white afterwards. It then reacts with your skin. Tans don't actually need a guide colour. It's just so if you want to see where you're going, you can. But because this comes out of the bottle as a mist, you can spray it onto the skin, rub it in using your hands, even, or a mitt, yeah. wash your hands after use, and the tan will just develop with your skin tone. So it's different on everyone, depending on your skin tone. Exactly. Also, keep it in the fridge because it's then really refreshing when you apply it. And you can spray your face like every other day to keep your face topped up. Like, I can't stress this enough, idiot-proof tanning. Wow. And um, how do you do your back? So, with the water, you lean forward and spray into the air and the mist will land evenly across the back. So hold on, so you, so you, you lean forward and you spray it over your shoulder yeah. and it will, la it will land over your back. Or you can take a mitt like this, this is a salt tan mitt, you can turn it this way but if you want to do your back you can turn it the other way around and then you can reach. Oh my god, I never even thought about that. I thought it was going to be one of those contraptions. I think I actually did, without even thinking about it, spray it and it just kind of did it anyway when I did yeah. it myself. After the few seconds, like I was saying, <laughs> I just went for it. So, tell me how you feel about all of this at the moment, because honestly, I don't know if you guys follow Jules on social media and obviously Isle of Paradise as well, like you should, because firstly, I always feel really proud of anyone in the industry who creates their own product, no matter who they are, because ultimately, it's such a difficult thing, and you must just feel so, I, I imagine, overwhelmed with all the love and all of like, I'll just mention, you know, the fact again that, the, you know, it's in Boots and Sephora and all these big brands, all these big retailers, which who don't just buy products for the sake of it, they buy products because they love them. I mean, they're buyers of absolute beauty junkies. 
and it must make you just feel incredible, right? I think what's been the most overwhelming thing is for me, it's spanning out over a 10 year career of spraying so many different bodies and it's when you look at Isle of Paradise, this is my whole career as an expert. And this is every backstage leg that I did at Fashion Week. It's yeah. every face that I did during Australia. It's, ev it's everything rolled into one. Now, we're talking earlier um, off camera about different skin tones because I think that people have really fair skin yeah. and people have, have much darker skin, black skin, find it quite sometimes intimidating to tan. So my sister Emily is so fair mm. she has bright blonde hair and she's always always scared of tanning mm. and we we're talking about this earlier and you're just the reason i brought it up is because you're saying it's about every single skin tone out there so just tell me like how which product would be best firstly if you are super fair you've never tanned before and you're scared so if you have that pinky undertone to your skin it's like irish skin celtic skin yeah. that kind of complexion Peach is definitely the range for you because it is the lightest range yeah. possible. Um, again, like I said before, you pick your format. I think the water or the drops are a great place to start if you've never ever tanned before. Um, the peach also contains oxyglow complex, so it boosts oxygen levels in the skin, so you get more of a glow. It's really natural we looking, love glow. We love really, glow. really easy to use. Then if you have that medium olive toned skin, that yellowy pigment to your skin, like that was pretty, like me. Yeah, very similar to you. Yeah. You would pick the medium, the green, which you did, yes. well done. <laughs> then if you love a dark tan or you have darker skin tone, choose the violet. Right, okay. So what does this tan do for a black skin tone? So it removes, and at so, so often I get asked, and this happens all the time, is, oh, I've got darker skin, so I don't need a tanning product. Well, the thing is, it's not meant to just give your skin a tan. It's meant to even out skin tone. It's meant to give glow. So in darker skins, you can sometimes see discoloration or ashiness or a, a little bit flat in complexion. And if you put tan on the skin, it is going to give that glow. So whoever you are, whatever your skin tone, if you come back from a holiday, if you've slept loads and maybe you've had a little bit of sun, your skin glows, whatever colour it is, and that's what self-tan mimics. Okay, right, I want to just ask a few questions about like tanning, I don't know if they're myths or not. If your tan, which obviously wouldn't happen with this, if you get too much tan somewhere, does that lemon trick really work where you use lemon to... So if you have woken up with a tan over, which is what I call a mistake <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, which usually comes from drinking too much Prosecco, Lisa, um, it's, you have so many different options in removing the tan. The best way to avoid that is to obviously moisturise your hands beforehand. Lemon, a bit of bicarbonate of soda, and some salt will help soften the tan. Almost a cake. Yeah, almost. <laughs> um, also, swimming will really strip the tan because of the chlorine. Oh, like, yeah, that's bad for me. Essential oils in a sauna, that is really good to take tan off. Or you can use Aloe Paradise Over It, which is a glycolic micellar tan remover. And you just spray it on, it lathers up, and it'll just soften the tan, and you can take it off. You thought of everything. Right, okay. Tanning techniques. I need you to... I know we've spoken about like the spraying on and everything like that. Is there a way that you should be, you know, circular motions with, particularly with the mousse, which I think is a really common way of people tanning. I don't know if it's the most popular in terms of, you know, for the past years, like when you've always been working in tan. Mousse is always a good go-to because yeah. mousse dries super quickly and also I find it is very easy to apply. So you always need to apply mousse using a mitt. Mm -hmm. um, I say to people and say to my clients, moisturize hands, elbows, knees, and feet. These are the dry areas. It's where tan clings to. It's, imagine they're going, I want more moisture, I want yeah. more moisture. So the tan, that's when you get it all stuck in between your fingers. Just adding moisturizer hides that. When you apply it onto the skin, two coats on the body, one coat on the face, and you sweep it onto the skin. Circular motions, no. Sweeping motions, yes. Okay. Work with the body's natural shape. Like when so you're instead doing of being that, like this, yeah. sweep round, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. sweep. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can sing a song, you can do what you want, that's the kind of thing I would do. Okay, sweep. So Theo, my husband, is very pale. Sorry Theo, I always like getting involved in these types of things, I think. <laughs> Before we go on holiday, I always make him tan. <laughs> he's, I'm into this. He's the only guy on the holiday who gets paler on the holiday. <laughs> 
the tan face. So I just need to, Thea, you need to watch it. I'm going to make sure he watches this to learn the techniques. Honestly, I'm going to walk into our bedroom on this and be like sweeping on his eyes. <laughs> yes, Thea, take notes. But no, seriously, guys should be tanning because it makes such a difference and also it makes your muscles look better doesn't it it does tan hides imperfections and also it makes your silhouette more prominent which is why you feel more confident when you've got tan yeah. on if you are a guy watching this and you've got maybe body hair or stubble always choose the waters they're the easiest to okay. get through easiest to spray and just buff through with a dry towel afterwards what i'm going to do is ask you a few quick fire questions that i haven't thought of yet i'm just going to think of okay, them great. i'm just going to think of them probably nothing to do with tan i'm just going to make them up as i go along okay are you ready no <laughs> okay right i'll start with like an easy one okay what's your favorite color green <gasps> same with mine too <laughs> you've got green eyes hazel greenish yeah. yeah i've got green eyes oh green's my favorite too okay um, what's your favourite animal? Giraffe. Can you do an animal impression? Of what animal? Any. A peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit like my pterodactyl. Hold on. I can do a dolphin impression. Hold on, I don't want to do it today. I right? actually hate dolphins. What? <laughs> you hate dolphins? Why? I just think they're too intelligent and they could be <laughs> evil. Genuine. I'm gonna do it then. Don't be scared of me. Oh no, I couldn't do it. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna to work today. It's actually incredible. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm cold. I don't sound evil. I sound lovely. <laughs> and then my pterodactyl is. <laughs> it's a bit like a peacock. When did you realise that you could do this? Well, my brother Eddie, who's now 17, and, and I hate him when I tell this story. When he was a baby and I used to like help bath him and everything, he had a dolphin toy in the bath. So I used to just pretend it was making a dolphin noise and I pretended there was a button on it. I'd be like, Eddie, press the button and I'd make the noise and it was like entertaining for hours. Oh. And then me and him used to talk to each other in dolphin, right? And they made no sense. There's no like code talk. We just like literally were talking to each other in dolphin just because we thought it was fun. And now we won't do it and he's 17 and I understand why. He doesn't think it's cool anymore. But you know. Right, okay. So about um, your cab. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Favourite celebrity you've worked with? Blake Lively. Oh, she's beautiful, right? She's so nice. I love that film with her with the shark. What's that called? Do you remember? Deep Blue. That. Is it that? Something like that. Right. I thought it was going to be rubbish. It was really good. Anyway, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, favourite place in the world that you've been to? Sydney. Oh, I love Australia. I love Australia and the reason Out of Paradise smells of eucalyptus and peppermint is because of my time in Australia. Really? Yeah, yeah I loved it there. That's so nice and I just think that I know exactly that smell. I've been to Australia about four times and going back in March because my auntie lives there. Although I'm going to get that fast plane. Oh. The new oh. one, it's like 17 out. Although, do you really want to win a plane with 17? I'm going to try it. I'll let you know how that You goes. can turn on a plane. What? Take the drops and a bit of moisturiser. Well, I do do like a whole skincare routine. Love it. Do that, I do face masks. Yeah, everything. Like, I do literally. Everything. Oh, now I'm going to be tanning. Would it tan the seats behind? Imagine if I get a bit no. and spray the people behind no, me. No, because if you take the drops, oh, yeah, they're under 50 ml, mix yeah. them with moisturiser and just do it and there'll be no transfer, nothing. Oh my God. So I used to do this if I had to travel last minute for work, I would take tan with me to Canton and I'd just tan on the plane. That is genius. Get on that plane not looking great, get off the plane looking major. Oh my God. And like you've already been in Australia or on holiday, amazing. That's so good. I didn't even think about that because you don't need to wash it off. Genius. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I think, is I'm going to maybe do a little bit of tan on my... We can just show... I'll hold the camera so that people can actually see that sweeping technique. Yeah. So we can see how that looks. This video is going to be so long, but, you know, who cares? And uh, then we'll show the technique and um, see what happens next. All right. <laughs> I said, do you get hungry hiccups? Like, so when you're hungry, you always get hiccups. Literally, I know, because my body starts hiccuping. And it's like, <laughs> I'm ready. Hurry up. <laughs> Jules going to start with a moisturiser. Which one are you going to use? I'm using Vaseline moisturiser. Oh, okay, Aloe cool. vera. I really like it. Yeah. So we moisturise Lisa's dry bits. Don't <laughs> mind if I do. Uh, so we're doing hands. We're doing in between fingers. And we're doing nails and wrists. That feels nice. Uh, also, I've taken my, my jewellery off, guys, just so you know. Which I know is like, obviously you do that. But in case you forget, like me, you don't want to get tan on your jewels. 
Oh, well, no, I don't want tan on me either. <laughs> and then bend your arm, let's put some on your elbow. Okay, I've always got a dry elbow. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to take the mitt thing onto the mitt. Yeah, directly on there. And then you join the mitt together like this. Now, this spreads the product around. Right. Oh. And then... I would never have done that. It's like you're an expert. Backstage tips. And then... We're gonna sweep down. Now you can see that guide color, but then you're just joining, almost joining the stripes up and going up and down the arm. Now I'm not, I mean, I've done your hand a little bit here, but not really doing your hand. I'm just doing this arm area. So does this one just come in the light and the dark? This comes in light, medium and dark. Fine, and then, uh, yeah, you can, but this is a good color, I think, for me. This one you have to wash off. Yeah. But it's a very subtle guide colour. There's not, there's no transfer or anything like that. Like, I mean, imagine me, 10 years tanning. I want the best products possible. <laughs> this is well close. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really going for it, rubbing it in. Yeah, I, and also, I, if you're going to do two coats, dry the first coat before the second. How long does it take to dry? Well, by the time you say you've done a full body... Yeah, you're dry. Yeah, you're dry. Or, if you if you want to be OCD, put your hair dryer on cool. Ah, oh, okay. Look how hairy my arms are. So then, what you do when you do your hands... Say I've done Lisa's body all over, top to toe. <laughs> What's left on this mitt is a lovely amount of residue product. Mm. <laughs> so, you put your hands in a claw... Yeah. And we're going to run over the hand just once. Is that it? That's it. That's all you need because this hand is like a sponge. It is going to drink the tan. So we want it to look as natural as possible. Wow. What we're going to do now... Oh, look. It's looking so good. Yeah. We're going to take a makeup wipe. Yeah. And honestly, if I had a pound for every time somebody asked me, how do I do my hands, this is how. You flip your hand the other way and you wipe your palms, okay? Yeah. We're doing this. Now, this is where you don't go to bed if you've had Proseccos. <laughs> you do this, you wipe away, <sighs> flip the other way around. This will be something I teach Theo if I've done my tan with my Prosecco. Then I'll be like, Theo, don't forget to wipe my hands. I taught him how to do my makeup when we, about after, only about two years after we were together. Take it off, sorry, not do my makeup. Take my makeup off at night. Oh, that's kind. Oh, this is good. So we're doing nails in between fingers, nails, in between fingers because when you sunbathe you don't tan here and this is where you want it to look natural and also i always have like i always make my nails look nice so that is a good way not so to ruin then them. flip this way you're putting gonna... moisturizer on again <gasps> on okay your wrists why uh, because you don't have a tan sleeve when you sunbathe it really naturally blends so you can go like this add moisturizer here and then again, using that dry side of a mitt, or you can put a towel on the back of the door for this, you're going to buff this area because you don't sunbathe like a lemur. <laughs> dry mitt and sweep it on. What do you mean put a towel on the back of the door? So literally... So you would put, you would put a towel on the back of the door and you would rub your wrists together on the towel and it will buff all right. this area. Oh, that is... I've learned so much. Now... You can see definitely a difference between my arms. Remember, this one has to develop. Is it six hours as well? Four to six hours for both of these. So put your hands side by side like this. Oh, yeah. Now you can see this is exhibit A, tanned arm, untanned arm. This has got the guide colour on. So once Lisa showers, this arm is going to be lovely, golden, even in skin tone. I mean, you have got beautiful skin anyway, babes, haven't Thank you? Thank you. But it's just going to look really nice and rich. Okay, I love it. Thank you so much. Um, just one thing before we go. I did notice this. Disco tan. <laughs> um, well, why wouldn't you call a tan disco? This is instant body bronzer. So if you are in a rush and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to be tanned. Can I put a bit on? Yeah, of course you can, babes. Would I use it? Can I just use my hands for this? You can use your hands. You can use a tanning mix. I need this for my kit. So it's amazing to mix in with your foundation. If yep. you're tanning and your foundation's changing colour, you just add a drop in. Also... Oh, it smells gorgeous. Yeah, cucumber and eucalyptus, so, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, honestly. But that's so quick and easy as well. Quick that blended and easy. amazing. Yeah, and it just sinks in. And that's what I use backstage. If I have to do a model and yeah. she needs to be tanned and she needs to not be tanned the next day, then yeah. I use this. No more using foundation that's darker. Just get your disco tan out. That is genius. Right, I've got two more questions. 
Have I got two? Do you want to put your rings on? Oh yeah, thanks. Oh, I do. Thanks. Oh. Da, da, da. Um, is, how many years did it take you to develop this? Or how long did it take? So it took two years to develop the brand, but also it takes 10 years to learn the all about skin. Yeah, yeah, amazing. And obviously I noticed here on the bag, vegan and cruelty free and organic. Yes. Yes, did you know tan actually performs better when it's vegan? It sinks in better to the skin, it performs, it's so much more even. Like, you do not need animal products. Okay, so that is it for me and Jules. Again, like, I hope, you, hope you've learned everything you need to know about tanning. Any questions, let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have liked yes. it. And obviously to follow um, Jules and Isle of Paradise as well. <laughs> what was that? That was like, come and follow me. No, that was like a little tickle in a really awkward place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Jules. It's been so fun. Um, good luck with everything as well. Thank you. Thank guys. you. Right. And also, um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday, guys. Laters!